On today's episode, we're talking all about the Telecaster. This is Ike Guitar. Let's dive in. What's going on, guys? Ike Guitar here. Today, I've decided we're going to be talking about another iconic guitar, and that guitar is the Telecaster. We talked about the Strat and the Les Paul over the course of the channel. If you haven't seen those videos, you can check them out right here. Anyway, the Telecaster is an iconic guitar. You see it everywhere, especially in the corners of the country world in Nashville, where I am from. But the Telecaster has a much more broader history than just the country world. We're gonna dive into the Telecaster, talk about its history a little bit, and also give you its features and why you should probably get one. So first off, the Telecaster predates Fender's lineup of guitars. The Telecaster began in 1951, made by Leo Fender over in his West Coast California factories. Now the Telecaster didn't always have a great start. In fact, it took about 10 years for the Tele to go into the mainstream line of music. You see, like most things in the music world, the Telecaster didn't get really big until the 60s. You see, in 1960, there was this guy named Buck Owens and the Buckaroos. He was a West Coast country music player, and essentially he rebelled against the modern Nashville country music of the day, known as country politan music. Buck Owens eventually coined his own sound, the Bakersfield sound, and in 1963 he released a song called Act Naturally on live TV. Eventually, Buck Owens' song Act Naturally made number one in June, and the Telecaster Bakersfield-driven sound would dominate Nashville and firmly establish itself as the guitar of choice for many country musicians. But let's not forget the British invasion. In July of 1964, a young quintet called the Yardbirds played the Granada television program known as Go Tell It on the Mountain. And on it, a young 19-year-old Eric Clapton played both of the songs on his set with a red Telecaster. The Telecaster was soon going to reach stardom among the music community as a whole. But we can't forget the 70s and 80s. Let's not forget about Elvis Presley's guitarist using the Paisley Telecaster, which is a colorway I really, really like. And let's not forget the Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin and even the police all use Telecasters in their music. The Telecaster is iconic, if not more iconic than the Strat. Now with a brief history of the Telecaster, let's talk about the Tele. What you'll find in the Tele is it's going to be pretty iconic in its shape. You can see the Tele shape. It is definitely different than a Strat. You see the single cutaway on the Telecaster as well as only two single coil pickups. And these single coil pickups inside give the Telecaster its spank. L let me just apologize right now for saying spank. I'm going to use spanky way too many times in this video. Telecasters in the beginning were made with maple and alder. They are still made with alder today, but now we've got maple and rosewood right here on the front. I've got two Telecasters. I've got a silver Telecaster and a beautiful seafoam green Telecaster. Seafoam green is probably my favorite color in the whole world. It is a perfect mixture of blue and green. Not to be confused with surf green, which is actually a little bit greener than blue. But the Tele has a three-way switch on it, as opposed to a Stratocaster's five-way switch. The three-way switch will switch between the neck pickup, two pickups together, and then finally, that bridge pickup. As far as the wiring of the Telecaster is concerned, the Telecaster was not always the same wired-wise as it is today. Vintage Telecasters from 1951 actually had a weird bridge position setup where it would actually sum both pickups at one time with the tone control, determining essentially the mix of the two pickups together. But the beauty of the Telecaster truly lies in its simplicity. It is essentially a slab of wood and a neck. You can't get more simple than a Fender Telecaster. Not a lot of moving parts, pretty simple, but that's why the Tele sound is so great. Telecasters are definitely a modern workhorse guitar. Typically, you'll see country stars and blues musicians using the Telecaster, but it's been used in every range of style under the sun, including jazz, rock, worship music, and even metal. In fact, Rick Beata did a video on how to make a Telecaster gent. That was a real good time. But the really cool thing about the Telecaster is the fact that it's as much a part of American culture as chocolate cake or apple pie. The Telecaster has been around 
for 70 years. The Telecaster is timeless and is certainly a guitar that has withstood the test of time and many artists still use them today. The style hasn't changed, the shape is still the same, and you're gonna find that the Telecaster is just as great as it was back in the 50s as it is today. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have enjoyed it. Be sure to like, be sure to comment, be sure to subscribe. This is just the first of many episodes on the Telecaster, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell to be alerted when I go on the web with great new Telecaster content. And of course, if you wanna learn more about me, please go to my Instagram, at iGuitar. I post all kinds of things there, not just YouTube content. So be sure to check me out at Instagram. Guys, go enjoy your day. Go find a Telecaster near you and start playing it. The guitar is historical, it's legendary, and it's still super relevant. And it's a great guitar to play and really enjoy.